for you, uh, you feel that this, uh, this is a terrible decision by the Supreme Court. Am I right? It's absolutely horrific. It sets America back more than 50 years. It's... It, to me, it's not that different from what's going on in Afghanistan with the Taliban. It's a complete blow against um, women's rights. Um, it's going to cause untold misery. It's going to lead to lots of death, poverty. It's just horrific. I mean, that's and quite I, strong words to compare it to the Taliban. I mean, but, but, but they, you feel that that is a woman's right to choose, autonomy over her, her own body. Autonomy over her own body. This is basically the state now has... Um, a right has rights over a woman's body. A woman doesn't have the right to choose what she does with her own body. Men don't have this, only women. And this is just because a group of far-right um, conservative um, Republicans who are, um, who, who, th who are religious and think that women shouldn't, um, women shouldn't be allowed to have abortions. It, it's not what America wants. It's what, it's what Trump wanted. He, put, he voted them in and, 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 you know, they've basically screwed um, women. Now, they would very much dispute the designation far right. They would well, say that's not the case. I mean, would. it sounds like from what you're describing is that you feel that we have effectively an activist court in there now. Yeah, I mean, it's not a democracy, is it? Um, it if, you know, democracy is, it speaks for the people, but I believe something like 65% of Americans believe in the right to abortion. And yet it's now, I think already in just a few hours, there are 18 states where abortion is pretty much completely illegal. Women will not be able to have abortion. Lois, can I bring you in here? So, uh, you know, again, sensitive issue here. And, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are very, very upset about this. But do you understand that why people are so upset? And do you, do you, do you have any sympathy with their position? Well, I think there's actually been a lot of confusion about what this decision was. This is actually a great day for democracy because the court returned this decision to democracy. If we go back 50 years ago to when Roe versus Wade was decided, that was actually made by, by nine male justices, nine male white justices of all people, for a decision that was to come over the entire country. And now the court have said that was a mistake to do it like that. It should be the will of the people in individual states to decide how they want to care for women and unborn children. But, but what about Hillary's point that the majority of people just simply do not support this decision? So you have a situation where the Supreme Court is acting against the will of the majority of the public. They're actually returning that decision, that choice to the public, and the public will be able to debate the ideas amongst themselves and vote for what they want to see in their state. But there is actually but that's a significant pro-life movement at the moment. I think that there's more pro-life people than we expect. Here in the UK, 70% of women would like to see the gestational limit of abortion in our country, 24 weeks, lit, uh, lower to somewhere, somewhere lower than that, that, that protects babies from an, an earlier so, stage. Let's take someone who is in Texas, say, and there are very few uh, available clinics in Texas, and, and following this decision, there will probably be none. And then they have to travel an awful long way. And, that, you know, the point is that it will still go on. People will still yeah. pr uh, uh, secure abortions, whether it's legal or not. And isn't it better to have a situation where they can do so legally? And you say you're pro-life, but actually you're not pro-life because a lot of women will die and a lot more children will die because of this. Not, you know, sure. you're, you may, pro-life, I, 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 it doesn't exist. Pro-life means anti-abortion. I'm pro-life, I'm pro-women's lives. Data from around the world actually shows that abortion does not correlate necessarily with women. Legalization of abortion does not correlate with women dying from abortion. It actually has more to do with the health systems that are in place already to take care of women. I think by um, getting rid of um, or, or saying that abortion is no longer necessary, we want to be able to create a society where women are supported and their unborn children are supported to become mothers and to but, flourish. But, but Lewis, and that doesn't happen. happen. Can, can I ask you about this question, though? Do, do you accept, though, that once you criminalize abortion, it will still carry on? Um, that's, I think that we have to not throw that around so much. I think where there's a lot more... Um, but it's true. But that's the main sure. point. It, it is true. It's, it, it's a key point. So, in other words, what does this decision actually achieve in reality? What it achieves is it criminalises people who are going to go ahead and do it anyway. But it can generate a lot. There's a lot of things that we criminalise and they happen anyway, but there has to be a standard in the law. And with that standard, we can bring in and support new policies, which will support women in a better way that will support... But that's not what's happened. In, in America, in the states in America, lots of states in America, they were waiting for this decision and they'd already got trigger votes done so that it's already been banned. It's already illegal. In some states, you already can't have an abortion in 30, in 30 days' time. You won't be able to have an abortion for any reason whatsoever. I mean, you really think that it's right that a woman who is raped or a child who is impregnated or um, a, a woman who... Um, is, has, has some kind of disease, which means that if she has, carries a pregnancy to term, she might die, shouldn't be allowed an abortion. But that's what's going to happen. And in countries where we have these laws already, where abortion is, is basically banned, um, women have gone to prison for having miscarriages. 
Do you think that that kind of scenario that Hillary's outlining is, is feasible, that, that that might now happen? There is a risk that that might ha- now happen in America. I think there's a lot of great work that is completely overlooked that is done by the pro-life movement so that women have that support. And now my heart really goes out to women who are in very difficult situations, and I know there's women who face very difficult situations, but I think we can offer them so much more than abortion. I think we can offer people who have gone through traumatic issues was so much better than just to say go and have an abortion and that is going to be able to flourish even more and that's already flourishing with the pro-life movement who have been active in many states over in the US but also here as well.